What's up, Internet? My name is Bobby, and with me is Chase. We are two-thirds of the casual hour, and in this quick look of Planet Tiles, we will answer your age-old question, is this game for you? Uh, give us about 15 minutes. I think it's all it's going to take, Chase, to convince you to play this game and maybe somebody else alongside you. I would love to be convinced. Let's convince me. Uh, Chase, I don't think you know anything about this game. Uh, you have some of the information pulled up about it, correct? Yes, it is $10. It came out April 3rd. It's developed and published by Mythic Owl, and it's on PC. But other than that, <clears throat> I have no idea what Planet Tiles is about. Bobby, what is what is Planet Tiles? It's a tile game. Uh, you are on a planet, and you are wanting to cover that planet. Think a little bit of Dwarf Romantic meets Loop Hero. Okay. How about that? How about that? <laughs> I'm, I'm starting to get sold. <laughs> okay. All right. Very cool. Uh, also, I got bumped down on the worldwide leaderboard. I was number 15 in the world for a while on one of my levels here. I'm down to 18 now. Wow. Uh, let's start with the... Uh, let me back up out of this. So each... So I can go back one more time. Yes, you're going to see these planets that you have uh, unlockable areas to get to on it. We're going to start with the, the beginner one. I'm going to go to Apollo Squared. Uh, I'll talk about my favorite structures and my active technologies here in a second. I'm just going to show you what the game is. So when you get to a planet, it's going to give you a location that you can fill up. And you start with an island. For the sake of this quick look, we're going to throw it down right here in the center. Over on the right hand corner or the right hand side of the screen, you've got these ongoing objectives. Create an area of at least five sand tiles to receive 75 points. That comes up here to your area, 100 points until new chunks are available. New chunks are every 75 points. And if you look over here, there's a lot of things that are grayed out. Mm -hmm. But like a loop hero, if you stack them up correctly, you're gonna get an observatory. So I know that if I can get a group of mountains and a three by three, we're gonna unlock even more points. That gives us really cool abilities. Because the other thing that you wanna do is you don't wanna have any gaps. But sometimes you're gonna, I guess I should have said a little bit of Tetris as well because your placement pieces, and you can see what we have right now, which is this two by two forest. And I can rotate it around by using the right click on my mouse. If I place that here, it has to be adjacent, so I can put it anywhere around it. And you know, we need to at least have, uh, create a closed area. So I need one spot to just be a forest surrounded. But for the sake of this quick look, we're gonna place that down. And now I've got a three by three for mountains, but I do want to enclose that forest, which I can't do in our current layout because it's a two by two. So I'm just gonna come down here in the bottom and we're gonna place our mountains. Now you get five points for every like minded tile that you put beside it you get okay. one if it's opposite so that's how your point systems work here so the other one that we have now is i think this is our, our fields or our plains um i'm going to start that one uh off here to the side and see what that does for us so we got more mountains uh i know i got a sand tile coming up we're gonna put that one like so and then i'm gonna put this one Shoot, how do I want to do this? Mm, yeah, I can go ahead and do that. And then we'll keep our trees going over on this side. I could try to get to a spot where one of those would be surrounded. Uh, it's not really going to work that way. So I'll put them here to keep the trees going to get more points. And there's our mountainous range, but I don't really have a spot to do it. Oh, I could do it like that. Yeah. Now I just need to get a little three by three piece there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to rotate this one to get a little bit more of that sand that will creep down this way. We've got more of our planes, which I could just rotate around and do like so. I'm playing this pretty haphazardly for this. Yeah, quick yeah, look, I by get the you. Way. We'll put those there. There's some more trees. And hey, look at that. We're going to get a upgrade. So when we click on that, now we get this big old piece. Yeah. And we've unlocked, uh, this structure produces a one by one forest. So if I needed to, let's say I had like one spot, you click here and it automatically just gives me a one by one tile of a forest. So we'll keep that in our back pocket while we're working towards this here. And I'm going to continue. Mm. Yeah, why not? Is it, most ideal. is it randomized which tiles you get? Yes. Okay. So that's over on the right. So you know that 
Like right now I have three planes and a forest. Um, I can rotate this a bit to get those. And mm -hmm. I can't go over all the way now, but I could come down here with it and get a little bit more of that point there, which goes up. And this is now create an area effectively for forest tiles. This one's still uh, five sand tiles. So I'm working on that here, which that gets it done that way. That upgrades us. So two more points and I get a new chunk. Uh, this one is created closed area made of at least two tiles of forest. This one here is four. So I could, uh, it's not gonna work over here. I could do that and that actually might get me that two tile one. It did, great. So then that gives me those two there and now it's at least one tile of field. I'm sorry, one tile of field to receive 75. There's our mountains. I can't use those the way I want to. Um, but what I will do is, I guess I'm just gonna start it up here again. Yeah. I'm going to, I got a spot here. I know I'm not gonna be able to fill it. It's not ideal, but if I click that, I can just place that one there. Now this is what's in incredible. You get to make a choice scenario. It forces it on you. So I shouldn't say it's incredible because it's a give and take. So every new observatory will add two tiles instead of one. That's handy, which we've mm -hmm. built one of those observatories already. And then the mission reload station, the upgrade station will allow you to change current missions four times instead of two, but you get one of these events that happen. Considering we have the mountain one, I'm gonna grab this one. We are gonna get a solar storm. It's going to make all the structures unusable for seven turns. So when that happens, we've got this solar storm impacting our big tile, um, but that means I can't use these for seven turns. So right. we're, we're kind of stuck there with it. Uh, let me rotate this bad boy down. Kind of like that one over here. That gives us quite a bit of points. Some more, oh, we can upgrade that one. But I'm gonna hang on, well, ooh, yeah, let's go ahead and upgrade it because I can still use it when it unlocks. And that one there, chunks reloading uh, village allows exchanging current chunks for new ones. So, if I have this and I don't like it, I can come over here now. Yeah, that's super useful. That, which is super useful, correct. So we'll throw that down there. Um, we've got another tree. I'm gonna throw it like so. Get some extra points. And then uh, that's four and that's four for the forest. There's oh, our mountains. mountains are perfect, yeah. Look at that, mm -hmm. boom. So now we're gonna get a little bit of a double structure. I can either do it up here or down here, depending. I'm gonna grab this one. That gives us a mountain structure. I believe this one is also a one by one tile. So I can put that there when the time comes. And we've got some more mountains along with that. So I will do it here. There's our forest piece, which I can throw up there. That gets us, oh, we're close on that one. That fits in nicely here. And we're gonna grab those planes and put them there and then follow up with this here. What do we got actually? I don't think you got a place for that one. There's no room for the current one, but I can change that out like I just mm -hmm. did. And now we have a spot that we can use it, which don't think can go anywhere really, but here. Yep. So and I can't use done. that one. Uh, that exchanges for the new ones, but I got a few of these I can fill in. So I'll put a mountain there. And let's see if that does still nothing. So I think we're getting near the end. Let me just throw in one more mountain chunk here. And so the game then will let you know, like you can undo your last move if you want to. It's letting me know that there's six gaps in the planet. Um, I don't think we're going to get, I mean, I can keep hitting this. There we go. That's something. We'll put that down. This is going to let us get an upgrade, a super mountain observatory. So we've already upgraded this once. Um, I don't know if I want to do that quite yet though, because you'd lose that on the ability to switch chunks, but I also will have a flood that will turn some of the shoreline tiles into swamps. So I'm stuck a bit. So I think I'd rather take this rather than lose out, even though I can't like rotate out some of those other spots to get rid of the gaps. Okay. So now we're limited on what that is. Yeah, I think I would come up done. here to 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. Open the game menu. This is going to show you on the planet, like where you're at, the space bonus, the basic points you have, bonus for all chunks, and then your total would be this. There's some of the objectives that we would get. You can go into a photo mode if you want to, which is really cool. Yeah, that's nice. And then I can change the focus distance if I want to and do some fun stuff with it. Um, let me back out and then we'll grab this one and you go to finish the mission. And now you're gonna level up your character, which allows you to go to some of those other planets to check them out. Um, you've been promoted to nine. You will be presented with three missions instead of two, but we'll receive 20% less points for them. And that's our level. And you can see the chunk placement and how we did and what the points are. So we come back to the menu and then that's the game. That's that that's really cool. Yeah, I mean you mentioned you mentioned Loop Hero. Uh what was the other one you mentioned? Dorf Romantic. Dorf Romantic, yes. Um certainly I, I'm seeing the the combination here. It actually reminds me of a quick look we did a long time ago on a on an itch.io game called Tiny Islands. Yes. So definitely definitely search that up if you're uh if you're listening now. Um and that game, that game very similarly was you you have this big open space and you're putting down the different tiles and you have forest tiles and you have beach tiles and mountain tiles. Um, this this seems like a, a much more complex version of that. And and also uh, certainly like Tiny Islands was black and white, um, like really simplistic art. And this is. Uh, they definitely have have done some cool things with the art here. I, I like building on the planet itself. It reminds yeah. me of like, um, oh, what was there was like a an N sixty four Tetris game, Tetris Attack, Tetris, not Tetris Attack, um, Tetris, Tetris N sixty four, Tetris Blast, maybe. Not the not the new Tetris. Tetrasphere, of course. Ah, of yes. Course. Tetrasphere, uh, which was which was exactly like this. Of <laughs> well, not exactly in like the scoring and stuff like that, but the idea of throwing down these blocks on a spherical object um, and having like the the tetrominoes uh, fall down into that same kind of same kind of space. Uh, yeah, super super cool. I, I think this is neat. Yeah, man. Uh, really quick, just as, as I mentioned, I come back to it and show it off. Um, you have favorite structures and you are unlocking these spots whenever you go into it. Uh, like as you progress your character and level up. So I have the mountain observatory. Favorite structure selected here is twice as likely to be chosen for upgrades. Oh, so cool. You can choose like what you want that to be and swap those out as you go. Over here, Planet Protector reduces the chance of occurrence of the selected cataclysm by 50. So I so know- you'd be like, man, we really got screwed by those solar storms. What if we yep. Where's that made one solar storms go. much, much less? So yeah, now we have that out. But what happened is, and I don't know if that was because I selected it. No, there we go. So I can do yeah, mountains just, with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is the, the the main one is is that you wanted to fill the planet so there are no more than ten gaps, which I've done. You can see the, mm -hmm. the badge for it, and this is the one that I had the really high score on. So special goal get over five thousand. What I didn't have was complete the primary goal while while using that, which is mission engine. You will get twenty percent more points from the missions, but no points for adjacent tiles. So currently, I have you will be granted three more starting chunks. So I could swap this over. Okay, this, so those are just like perks that you can add. Yep. And you can have like more unlocked at certain things. So if I, and this is, I just wanted to show like the different layout. We're not going to do this whole one here. Mm -hmm. But this is called Thor's Belt. Oh. And you actually have to rotate the planet around. And this is oh, one that I got wow. the really. Wow, okay. So then you're playing kind of back and forth. So if I put this down, now I've got this whole other area that I'm working around to expand. And yeah. Kind of go that route. It's a really neat game, man. There's some cool stuff at play with this one. And you can always just take a break and that's going to save and end the game completely and come right back to where you were. So don't feel like you have to stick with it. I can finish the mission here like I just did. And that's that. So that's planet, I guess planet tiles or planet tiles. Is I, I think I think the, the, the double entendre there is that you're placing tiles on planets, but they're also islands. Yeah. Planet Isles. Planet Isles. Planet <laughs> yeah. Isles. yeah. I think so, Planet Tiles is is probably the way to say it. It's cool, man. It's a cool, cool thing. I'm glad we'll, that we'll I have to get Johnny to talk to the developer to see how it's actually pronounced. Yeah, that's no, his. Kidding. That's his job these days. <laughs> uh, pretty, pretty straightforward. 
Uh, it's only on PC right now. I don't see any reason why a game like this couldn't come to other platforms, but uh, I've enjoyed showing it to you. If you like what we're doing, this could even be a casual Monday game, which is a game where you and I hang yeah. out, play games, chill, catch up with one another. We do that every Monday at 9 p.m. Central. We also play games with our other co-host Johnny on Fridays at the same time. If you're right here on YouTube, you're good to go. It's youtube.com slash casual hour. Like, subscribe so you get more of our content. We also go live on Twitch, uh, twitch.tv slash casual hour. And on Wednesday nights, we get together and we talk about the games that we've been playing. I'll be talking more about this game in an upcoming episode of the casual hour, which you can tune into on podcast every Friday morning, uh, wherever you listen to your podcast. Chase, thank you so much for hanging out and checking this one out with me. I look forward to playing more of it with you in the future. Totally. Thanks for showing it off.